everybody. Welcome to Music Moves for Piano Book 3, Unit 3A. We're going to start a little bit differently today. We're not going to sing the duple meter song. We're getting to the point that we're going to start moving away from some of these things. So, instead, we're still going to move. And we're going to chant. Do, day, do, chant. Macro beats on do. Do, 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 micro beats. Do, day, do, day, do, day, do, day. I chant micro beats, you chant macro beats. Day, do, day, do, day, do, day. Do, day, do, day, do, day, do, day. You chant micro beats, I chant a pattern. Do, day, do, day, do, today, do. Do, day, to do, today, do, day, do. You chant rhythm patterns, I chant macro beats. Do, 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 do. Echo me, please. Do, day, do, today, do, day, to do. Do, today, do, day, do, today, to do. Do ta do day do day do day do day to do day to do today do I'll chant a pattern you chant your own do day do day do today to do do today do day do today do Do day, do day, do today, do day. Do today, do today, do today, to do. I'm going to sing the Dorian song, Siberian Husky. Go ahead and move like you're scared using tight body movements. Bum, 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 bum. I'm going to sing Cat Goes, no, 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 I missed one. Go ahead and join me in singing Love Somebody. So salty to Tito, bum bum bum, sing with me, bum 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 bum, bum bum bum, bum 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 bum, bum bum bum, bum 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 bum, bum bum bum, bum 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 bum. This time, go ahead and sing the resting tone. Go. Pretend that you're a puppy. You can move around on two feet or you can move around on all fours. But when I stop singing, freeze and sing. Do. Bum, bum, ba, bum, 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 bum. Do. Bum, bum, ba, bum, 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 bum. Do. Bum, bum, ba, bum, 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 bum. Do. Bum, bum, ba, 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 bum, bum, bum. Do. I'm going to sing one more song. This is Cat Goes Fiddle Dee Dee. Bum, ba, ba, bum, bum, bum. Just go ahead and listen once. And I'm going to check, make sure I've got this right in my head. Bum, ba, ba, ba. Go ahead and sing the resting tone. Do. Can you sing the starting tone? Do. Move like you're bouncing kittens on your arms. Think of how gently you'd need to move. Bum, ba, ba, bum, ba, bum, bum, bum. Bum, 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 bum,
rhythm patterns in duple meter. Go ahead and move with me, please. Do day do, echo me, please. Do day, do day do. Do do day, do day. Do do day, do day. Do day, do day, do. Do day, do day. Do day, do to do day. Do day to do day, day do day. Do day, day do to day do. Some of those were a little tricky to follow. So these were all rest patterns. They all had rests or silences in them. Let's go ahead and learn our song to sing for this unit. This is called Girls and Boys Come Out to Play. Bum, 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 bum. Go ahead and move in a light way, like you're happy from the seven dwarfs. Bum, ba, bum, ba, bum, ba, bum. Bum, ba, 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 bum, ba, bum. Can you sing the starting tone syllable of the song? Is this song in duple or triple meter? This is in triple meter. Go ahead and echo these rhythm patterns. Do da de do, echo me please. Do de do de do de do. Do de do de do da de do. The first rhythm pattern happens right away at the beginning of the song. Do da de do, here I go. Ba ba bum ba bum ba bum. Do de do de do de do. What type of rhythm pattern is that? Macro, micro, division, division elongation, or just elongation? That's an elongation rhythm pattern because it has that elongated do. Do de do de do de do. The second rhythm pattern happens right after that. Bum ba 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 bum ba bum. Do de do da de do de do. What type of rhythm pattern is that? Bum ba 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 bum ba bum. That's another elongation rhythm pattern. Tell me if this song is in major or minor tonality. This is in major. <coughs> Apparently major is sneeze worthy. Go ahead and echo these tonal patterns, please. So me do ti do. Bum bum. Each of these patterns, what is the function? Are they tonic major or dominant major? So me. That's tonic major. Fa re. That's dominant major. 
so me do that's tonic major and re so that's dominant major we're going to listen for these tonal patterns in the song i'd like to listen for the first and the second tonal patterns together so that you can compare them with each other so the first pattern is so me second pattern fa re fa bum 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 go ahead and listen once through the song and i'll show you the second time because it's so short bum ba bum here i go bum ba bum ba bum ba bum bum ba 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 bum ba bum so they happen just right away at the beginning and that's it bum ba bum here i go so me fa re bum ba bum it does have so me after that but there are other things so now each of our two phrases in the song has an ending. We're going to listen for the endings of those. And in that, we're listening for so, mi, do, bum, 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 ba, bum, ba, bum, ba, bum, bum, ba, 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 bum, bum, bum. Did you hear it in those two endings? Bum, ba, bum, ba, so, mi, do. Bum, ba, 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 so, mi, do. And then our last pattern, re, so, is what gets us ready for so, mi, do. Listen to how that happens. Bum, ba, ba, re, so, mi, do. Bum, ba, 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 re, so, mi, do. Now I'll sing it one time just on bum and just listen for that re, so. I showed you with my hand that second time. It's a little hard to hear because re is the end of fa re, and it's also then re uh, so is the beginning of so mi do. So that re so is a transition pattern in between those other two. All right, go ahead and sing the song with me, please. Bum, ba, bum, sing with me. Bum, ba, bum, ba, bum, ba, bum. Bum, ba, 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 bum, ba, bum. I'm going to go ahead. Ooh, I went sharp. Whoo, a lot sharp. Do, so, mi, do, ti, do. Go ahead and hold up one finger for the tonic chord, five fingers for the dominant chord as we sing. Bum, ba, bum, sing with me. Bum, ba, bum, ba, bum, ba, bum. Bum, ba, 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 bum, ba, bum. Let's go ahead and sing those root changes. One, bum, here we go. Bum, 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 bum. Let's sing those one more time while I play the melody. Bum, ba, bum, sing with me. Bum, 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 bum. Now we're going to go over to our keyboard geography and technique. So what we're looking at today for this, for starters, is in unit two in book three, we're going to review the D major scale melodic cadence and tonic arpeggio and the B minor melodic cadence and tonic arpeggio or pages six through eight in book three. So you've been working on this for a little while. I'm just going to tell you what I want you to add if you have not done this already. So if you have not already done it, Please sing syllables this week for the D major tonic arpeggio. And what we have been doing is singing it away from playing. We sing short and long for this one. So, do, mi, so, mi, do. And also, 
do me so do so me do if you really want to be adventurous you could try singing all the syllables while you play but instead of trying to sing all the octaves just sing them in one octave do me so do me so do so me do so me do so you sing in one spot and then just go up for do do me so do me so do so me do so me do so if you need a challenge go ahead and try that for your d major tonic arpeggio for the D major tonic dominant tonic melodic cadence, please play it separated and connected if you haven't done that already, and sing the syllables, which should be very familiar. We've done this many times. Do mi so so ti so fa re ti do mi do. On page seven for the D major scale, if you've not already done it, please play the scale separated. You probably have already been playing it separated but play it intentionally. Think about the technique of playing separated style. Right now I'm doing our gentle arm bounce for separated. So think about that. Add that in if you're not already doing it. And in harmonic minor tonality when La is B, if you've not already done it, go ahead and sing the syllables for the tonic arpeggio. And we have short and long versions for this. La, mi, la, do, mi, do, la, and la, do, mi, la, mi, do, la. If you need a challenge, you can do the same thing as in major. La, do, mi, la, do, mi, la, mi, do, la, mi, do, la. Let's try just singing that away from the keyboard. La, do, mi, la, do, mi, la, mi, do, la, mi, do, la. So if you need a challenge, try adding that. And then for the minor tonic dominant tonic melodic cadence, please play separated and connected and sing syllables. Go ahead and practice those now, please. And then we're going to do a little bit more from their previous unit, unit two, we're going to practice the flat piano keys. So remember, we're naming keys by letter names. So we're randomly going to locate and play all of the flat piano keys. So here's your quiz. Are you ready? You didn't know there was going to be a quiz. I'm going to give you a key. G flat. D flat. B flat. flat keys, sharp keys, try double flats and double sharps and harmonic keys. Just keep practicing all of those letter names. We'll do a little bit of that when we have our group class check-in. Now, turn in your book three to page nine. We're going to look a little bit at some new stuff. So we're going to flip around the order a little bit with our A and B sections here. We're going to leave this top part for now. We're going to do just this part down here. Keyboard skills, pentascales, and intervals. That's what we're looking at today. So let's just read this together. A pentascale is the first five tones of any scale. Play some major and minor pentascales. So if we're in C major, fingers in each hand. So you can start playing these with several that you already know. You can play E major, which means you can also play C sharp minor. We can play D major, our new one. G 
major. tonic melodic cadence from F sharp major. So at least play major and minor pentascales from keys that we've already worked on. So go ahead and play a number of those right now. Now the second thing, an interval is two tones. Play and sing intervals from the tonic to other tones of a major pentascale. So I'm gonna play in D major. So we're gonna play from tonic to other tones. So it sounds like this. Go ahead and play in D major, play and sing with me. We're gonna do it that same way. Pentascale. So let's do E minor. Go ahead and play that E minor pentascale. Now we're going to play and sing intervals from the tonic in minor. I'll do it first and then you can join me. Go ahead and join me now. Play and sing. Now, those are intervals from the tonic. We can also play intervals starting on different notes. So, in, we'll, we'll just stay in E minor here. We can start on T. So we could do it like this. What I'm going to do just for the sake of consistency is go intervals going up and then we'll go down. So like this. If you can play along, go ahead and play and sing. If you just need to step back and listen, that's totally fine. I'm gonna do it one more time. with yourself. So we can also go from the third note, from do, do, re, do, re, do, ti, do, then we can go from re. Re, 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 do, re, ti, re, and then we can go from me. intervals that we can play in a minor pentascale. Intervals starting on La, intervals starting on T, starting on Do, starting on Re, and starting on Re. We do the same thing in major. Intervals starting on Do, which we did. Intervals starting on Re. Sounds like Re, 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 Fa. different intervals that you can find in the minor pentascales and in the major pentascales. And find a key that's comfortable for singing. For me, D major is a nice, com 
nice key E minor is a nice key for singing. Find something that's comfortable for you. Okay, mark all of these down with today's date. And blah 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 blah. We did that. So now we're looking over here. Exploration, creativity, improvisation. For this one, we're going to do just number one. Just number one. So we just have one improv thing. This is like in, in unit two. So explore different areas of the keyboard, use contrasting dynamics, and soft pedal. This sounds like the same type of project that we did in unit two. So I'd like for you to go ahead and do this, play several different improvisations. You can use different dynamics for each one. You can use different dynamics within the same improvisation. Make sure you use the soft pedal. Remember, if you have two or three pedals, it's going to be the one all the way on the left. Go ahead and do that. Make sure you circle that number one under exploration, creativity, improvisation. And by the way, the D major and B minor review in the keyboard geography and technique is all the way up on number one there. So you can circle that. It's also part of unit two review. And then we're going to do the rest of the review for unit two. So we already looked at pages six, seven, and eight. We looked at a little bit on page four and the only thing left to review in unit two is monkey game. So let's take a look at this. Let's review the melody just a little bit. We're in harmonic minor tonality in duple meter. La is A. Melody starts on La. So remember, at the beginning, we're listening for La, Do, La, Do, and then C, Mi, La, La, Do, La, Do, C, Mi, La. So go ahead and just play it with me, because then we're going to move. Do, day, do, play with me. Now we're going to move to a new keyality. Let's try D minor. So if we're in D minor, remember these three fingers are going to move to Let's play the D minor tonic, dominant, tonic, melodic cadence. Go ahead and play that with me. So at the beginning, we're listening for La Do, La Do. Go ahead and play that beginning part with me. And then after that, we need to find C, Mi, La, C, Mi, La. <laughs> Let's go ahead and play that part. Play that with me, starting on C, ready, play. in D minor. Do, day, do, ready, play. Now, I'm going to challenge you to play this in B minor. This is a new key. We've recently been working on it. You're reviewing it right now. So let's play our tonic dominant tonic melodic cadence when B is La. Go ahead and play and sing with me, please. Or if you can't do both at once, play or sing. Starting on La. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Low La or high La. Find out what works best in your voice. La, La, Do, Mi, Mi, C, Mi, A, T, C, La, Do, La. 
and then we're going to sing when we sing our patterns I'm gonna sing them up La, da, la, da, si, mi, la. okay so let's find la, da, let's play that beginning part then ready play badly about that try that take your time we'll look at this together if this is all totally confusing if you're saying stop talking and just get through this because I can do it already all right I'll stop talking do day do play with me this as much as you need and then mark the two new chialities or two new tonics with today's date and then we're going to look at review for unit one in unit one we have minor old woman and triple old woman so we're gonna look at page two minor old woman we're going to add a new tonality and a new meter for both of these actually I'm just gonna go ahead and open it up this way so you can see both at once so remember minor old woman is just a minor version of our original which was in major so to change the tonality we can play it back in the original spot in G major. We can even play it with two hands. So feel free to go ahead and just play it back in G major. It's totally fine. If you'd like a challenge, try playing it in F sharp major. Remember, you just found this pentascale a little bit ago. Take a play. Do, so, so. Let's together. yourself if you fall down so it's enjoyable and it's up this way so play it in a major key you can choose and then for a new meter it's just like playing triple old woman except it's in minor <laughs> these songs are all these are all versions of the same thing so we go back to E minor and do those two things and then triple old woman to put it in a new tonality we put it in minor tonality which is exactly the same thing that we just played so you can play whatever you played for the new meter for minor old woman you can play exactly the same thing for new tonality for triple old woman because it's already in triple and now we're going to put it in minor
want a challenge, try playing it in C sharp minor. And remember, you could totally do this hand as well. One me. started. So we're back in G major. We were playing for triple. So now do, 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 do. We come full circle. That's it. You're back to duple meter, back to our totally original, normal, old woman. We, we don't have any more things to do with this song other than chanting and rhythm pattern and tonal patterns, which will really only feel different for the rhythm pattern in triple old woman and the tonal pattern in minor old woman. Otherwise, the rhythm pattern of minor old woman is just like our original and the tonal pattern of triple old woman is just like our original. So the only other things you could do with this would be if you were to play it in some other tonalities which we could do at a later date, or we could play it in other meters. Then it starts to get really fun. I was doing some experimenting just for fun. Oh, well, what would happen What would I, if I played it in something else? We could play it in, oh, what was I thinking? We could play it in Lydian tonality. are for Lydian, so I'll just do this. Which we had, oddly enough, looked at all the way back when we did the original Old Woman. We could play it in Phrygian tonality. Ooh, that's cool. You could play it in a tonality like that and an unusual meter. Digress. So until that point, we're done. We've got all the stuff. Okay, enough talking. All right, that's our review. We have a new song to learn for today. I just closed the book, but we're going to use it again. So this is Mexican dance. Go ahead and just move lightly while I sing this song. Go ahead and move to micro macro beats, and then decide if you think the meter is in duple or triple. One more time. Move to macro beats. So this is in duple meter. This has two phrases. I'm going to play part of the song and then I'd like for you to chant the rhythm back. I'll chant with you. Here I go. Do day, do day, do today to do day. Do day, do day, do today to do. Those are the two phrases. What's the category for each of those rhythm patterns? Back to the first one. Do day, do day, do today to do day. Well, that's a division rhythm pattern. How, how about the second one? Do day, do day, do today to do. That's also a division rhythm pattern. So both of them are division patterns. Go ahead and audiate this song, hear it in your head, and decide if you think the tonality is major or minor. 
So this is a major tonality. Can you audiate the resting tone? Just hear it in your head and then sing the starting tone on solfege. Tonal patterns, please. So me, so me, fa re, fa re, mi do, mi do. We're gonna think about where these patterns happen in the song. Listen for the first one. Of our two phrases. How about fa re bum 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 So that pattern happens twice. just one time. And at the end, it changes. Go straight to do, which is the only difference between our two phrases in the song. Go ahead and open up book three to page 10 for Mexican dance. Go ahead and come to the keyboard. We're in the middle of the keyboard for this song. It's in duple meter, major tonality. Do is E, and the melody starts on So. So let's go ahead and play the E major tonic dominant tonic melodic cadence, and let's sing while we play. Do, do, E, so, so, T, so, fa, re, T, do, E. and sing those tonal patterns from the song just in either hand actually because the melody you can do in either hand i'll do it in this hand keep trying to do more than left hand. so the first pattern so me on the keys. Decide which hand you want to use for the melody. I'm going to go ahead and use this hand to start. Think the, think the starting piano key, then we're going to play the first phrase. So, so let's do, let's do the The do they do ready play and then play the whole first phrase in a continuous and fluid way. Think that starting key, think the rhythm introduction. is exactly the same as that, but instead of going, it goes, let's play just that ending. All right, let's play the whole song. 
Do day do ready play. Another fun way to practice this would be you can sing the first pattern and then play the second pattern like this. that I'm going to play the accompaniment with you just notice how this sounds as I play I have for my tonic chord do and so dominant chord T and so and <laughs> actually to start I'm just going to do do and T bum, bum, bum. play the melody together otherwise definitely play this hand bum, 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 play with me now you can also try do and so for tonic t and so for dominant So we're going to play this in C major. So think of a major triad. Do, mi, so. Now we're going to name the bottom note. Do. Then we're starting on so. C is do. Start on so. Then you can go on. So let's play it in D major. So D is Do. We're going to start on So. Let's do one more. We're going to play in G major. G is Do. Do means So. So play that opening motive in several new chialities or with several new tonics but think about your major triad, think about do, and then think about so to start. Here's one other challenge for you. Think of the ending do, the beginning of the song, as your new beginning tone. So, then play your tonic triad, so me do, and play it again. That sounds like a lot of what? So we're playing E major.
definitely play the melody in this hand, play the melody in this hand, play the accompaniment. If you can, try playing hands together. We've got a couple of weeks to work on that before we do the next video. And here's your recap. So, like in unit two, you're going to have a couple of assignments that we didn't look at together. So make sure that you're either marking them on page nine over here somewhere, or you're writing them in your assignment book. And by the way, just so I don't forget to tell you, the unit reviews that are in here, we're gonna be doing more of them than are in here. So we're gonna be doing two unit reviews each week, and th this is not just the ones that are marked here. So you're gonna have to add, if you're looking at the book and listening assignments, you're gonna have to add something. All right, assignment number one which is on this page. Listen to the pattern CD, track 22, and the audio that goes with this book, tracks six and seven, because those are the song to sing and Mexican dance. So that's assignment one, pattern CD, track 22, audio tracks six and seven. Assignment number two, keyboard skills pentascales and intervals. Here we go on page nine. That's number two. Number three, improv. Page nine, left side, number one. Number one. Number four, review book three, units one and two. Make sure you review all the pages in unit two, including that first one, where you're practicing all the different letter names. Okay, that's assignment number four. Assignment number five, practice Mexican dance. And assignment number six, look in the back of the book. Like we did last time, we're continuing to look at the rhythm pattern project. So this is page 60. I'd like for you to do numbers three and four. For project three, use track 13. For project four, use track 11. And you'll see why when you look at them, why there's, those are two different track numbers. So project three, track 13, project four, track 11. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you very much for joining me for Music Moves for Piano Book 3, Unit 3A. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks.